one of the things I really love about Clubhouse is that I could be on there looking like this, but doing like a live stream. And I could be doing, I could still be being productive in my house. I could be folding a load of laundry. I could be cooking. And still just as passionate and into the conversation as I want to be. And it's hard to describe to someone how that's beneficial, especially a millennial, but, you know, certain generations. And that's because it's pretty much no different than a chat room what old school, original old school chat rooms used to be. It's no different than that, except there's more control over who's on stage, which is even better, because that way the trolls can just come in and they're forced to just listen and they have no lines. <laughs> which they didn't either in any grown folks room that I would be a moderator for. But as much as I hate it, I like it for what it is, and I'm going to c continue to enjoy it and even get mad at it, but I'm going to continue to enjoy it for as long as I can until the masses are invited in, uh, in bulk because they're in there. You know, some of them are plants. You know, social media always has plants and trolls. So a lot of that, but the premise under which they market themselves as you know people are genuine or whatever even when you because they force you to give them real access to some real stuff which is why mine is not i have i probably have the only clubhouse account that does not have an uh, their instagram and or twitter account linked i don't really go on twitter anymore i haven't for since our president was orange and I don't miss it. I don't miss it. Keep looking around at. I didn't know that was from the first or the second day. Did I say you could use my plug? I need to though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See how easy shit is when you admit it. Gardening season. I saw a room that said, why is no one talking about gardening right now? Cause it's not garden. People. I was like, yes, yes, Macy. But I went in there and they was too young. Well, which is not a problem. I don't mind young people, but they was young to talking like they know what they're talking about and misinforming each other. I couldn't deal. I was glad they was talking about it though. Good for them. They gonna get it. They gonna get it together. Huh? See what those little Jack Frost talking about. <laughs> what is Jack short for? I don't know. Cause he finna, he finna let me know what it is. Cause I know when you, he gonna let you know what his long, his first, his government name is when you take your black like, ass out. <laughs> he gonna be like, this is my government name. Jackson, Emmanuel, Frosted Nathaniel. I should revert it because I got it wet in the shower last night. I got it wet and on top of getting it wet, I didn't do anything to it. <laughs> I look at it with my penny on and that should be like, what was your problem with it? Like, what was, what was your, what was the problem? You could just take your fingers and pick it. And just and, and rock that fro like what is your complaint like what is your malfunction what's wrong with you Ooh. you know better than that release that colonization girl release it look pluck that shit out with these tools these expensive tools Man, God has presented us to this earth with batteries included. You know how you, you, you know how we was kids and all the best toys had what said batteries not included. We got sent here, battery ready, ready to use, but not to test. Don't test us. You know that how they have some toys, they let you test it. Try me. Don't try. Me. 
don't try the black woman don't do it don't try me matter of fact don't play with me like one of those toys <laughs> but the point is that god has placed us here on this planet battery red like ready ready to go that means like if you don't if your procreators are trash that means if your procreators are trash that you do have the God in you to pull yourself up out of that. Not to be confused with the bootstraps cliche. But you are, you're ready. You're ready. And the good thing about it, that is there's no more time to for people to take their time. <laughs> do it. Do what you want to do in life. Have confidence in yourself unless that thing is somehow stomp trashing on other shitting on other people to get there and in which case fuck you if that's your motive if you're that sociopath but you know if, if what you're doing is healthy and, and fruitful for you and everyone you love do that shit do it do it whatever it is Even if it's sharing can of wellness wisdom to your tribe who has the ears to hear it via messages sent through you from the ancestors. That was a sermon. That was a self sermon. Do whatever that thing is. Do whatever that thing is, especially if you're a grown ass individual, black person. You're grown up, if you're a grown ass black person, life is short. And P.S. Shout out to you for making it to be a grown ass black person because that's difficult to do in 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 this shithole country. But you did it, and you did it. Some of you did it effortlessly anyway. However, you did it. Maybe cognitive dissonance helped you through it. It's a hell of a drug, you know. And when I say that, I don't mean that exclusively shadily. I definitely mean I'm shading you when I say it. But at the same time, I know it's a defense mechanism for our blackness. It helps you make it. You know? People, people that are still following like Jesus, it, it helps them make it. It helps them make it through. This is difficult. You can't, you can't dismiss the one thing that has helped you make it through this bitch as a black person. And if that black, if that thing happened to be the religion that you got colonized to, but it helped you through, you can't just dismiss it uh, in the light of learning what's real. Or learning that this, this, everything they've been feeding you has been bullshit. You can't just dismiss that bullshit that has carried you through to this point. I understand that. I get it. And that's why sometimes when I shrug some of y'all off and let you think what you want to think, it's not it's it's in love. Because I know that it's like any addiction. It people can only be ready when they're ready. You want to encourage them to be ready, but all encouragement in the world won't touch them un unless until they get open to it and in a lot of cases that's gonna take tough love and ain't nobody out here giving tough love but me that's why nobody feels like they should have to pay any consequences that's why no one is 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 holding themselves or anyone else for that matter accountable you can't hold someone else accountable and then expect to be and not to be held accountable so you just go ahead and give everybody else a pass because if it was you doing that fuck shit you would want to be given a pass too so everybody gives everybody a pass well guess what it wouldn't be me doing that fuck shit so i'm not giving you a pass because it's not okay it's not okay to do this to children it's not okay to do this to people and fuck you for that okay this is not what that video was about but Please, y'all. I don't know Let what to do. I'm scared. I'm shaking. Please. Please, y'all. I don't know what to do. He been following me for like 
almost 10 minutes, y'all. Please. You, I get somebody. Because I can't do anything. Ain't no cover that ass. Look. Ain't nothing gonna cover that ass. That could ass you big, baby. Could you please ain't stop nothing. following me, though? Look, it ain't my fault. Could you please stop God following me, God gave you that ass. But could you please God gave stop? you that I'm ass. I'm gonna ask you nicely. Can you please stop following me? I let you shoot me. Do y'all see this shit? stop following that ass. Do y'all see this That's shit? That's too much ass to stop following. Do y'all see this shit? This that ain't no motherfucker. This ain't no prank. This is all real. You cannot Somebody stop following please that help ass. me. Share this video. Share, share, share. You can't stop following please that Please share this video, y'all. Do y'all see this? You cannot stop following that ass. It ain't my fault. You got all that ass. some GSD too. I should have been doing this while I was running, while I was going off, right? So yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, one, uh, there's a, so much that I don't like about, about the club because, well, just like any other social media, I, it's, I hate the same things that I hate about it, you know. I hate that it's supremacist. That's what it is. Because all those, all AmeriClan media social sources are one way or another programmed to it, to supremacy. Because that's what America is. <laughs> y'all can act like y'all don't know if you want to. But... And so because it parallels old school chat rooms, the clubhouse will have a reputation of, of being for older people which i think is awesome in addition to it being invite only but as it with anything else young people like to feel grown so they will infiltrate it and bastardize it in a matter of time but again i want to enjoy it before that happens and perhaps continue to find my tribe while i don't have so many people to um to surf through to be able to have to do that because don't nobody have time for that. But then you got to make time. You got to make time if you're going to protect your spirit from shitty people. Right? So y'all know I screen everybody. And that this is the type of... I can actually, for, for the first time, see how this is the type of site where it's beneficial to follow more people. People have always told me that in things, in all social media. But I will ne I would never do it. I would never do it correction i will never do it because i still don't even do it on clubhouse however i d am more lenient with who i follow because if um they encourage you like if you're in a room and you like the topic they encourage you to follow all the speakers right so they should, you'll know um what rooms open with those types of topics but i'm not following everybody on their motherfucking stage I don't like all them hoes. I'm, I, we, we all lucky, gonna be lucky if I like two of them. I tiptoe until I can trust the motherfucker. And there have been stages that I have been invited to, and there have been stages that I've wanted to go on, but will not because I'm not gonna share a stage with it. Because you got other people up here that I don't trust, and I'm not gonna be up here looking like i'm sitting next to them okay with their uh with the rhetoric with the rhetoric rhetoric you letting them spit and then when they get they would be different if when a person got through talking that shit that the moderators would be like no nah, no nah, i can't let you come in here and tell my audience that bullshit because <laughs> that should be the place where you do it you got to call that shit out y'all on this forgiveness shit and let people uh i believe you let people be who they are but if it's your stage that you create in your platform what you're not gonna do is come up here and misinform people that'll come in here to hear because ain't nobody coming around me to not hear real shit so if it's somebody i would normally follow and even if they have a stage where they allow this then i can't i can't follow you Cause even if the topic is great every time, why do I want to be in that? I don't want to be there. I'm not gonna be there. I'm not gonna be there. So even though I follow, I follow some groups, you know, to to see if they're what they say they, if the bears are who they say they are. <laughs> and then, 
very often, after, soon after I follow a group, I'll get an invite. I, you know, you feel special at first, but that's just what the fuck they do to build their own audience for themselves, because this is a sociopath society like that. But what I'll do is continue to follow the group for a little while to see if they're talking about things consistently that I'm interested in. And if they are, I will then join that group. So I think I have joined maybe two groups, three at the most. And that might be all there is, unless, I don't know, somebody just built a, a group that I'm very interested in for mature women. And there's no exclusivity for black women, but it was black women who were in the room. Now, because there's no, there's no noted exclusivity for black women, I probably won't join that group very quickly. I'll probably wait for a while because it is very probable that that group is infiltrated by Karen and I'm not gonna wanna be a part of it. And so I'm not gonna be joining unjoining groups that's not going to happen with me. Y'all know me. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. So I'm just, you know, kicking back and paying attention first before I jump in and say, okay, I wouldn't mind being a part of these conversations. But uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, so what I wanted to talk about was that I saw earlier today is um, the conversation was, does the black church support cannabis? Ooh, we, y'all know better than they would how appropriate I am for that conversation, for that motherfucking conversation. Let me tell you, we're gonna talk about it. I couldn't talk about it in the room cause introvert problems. There was one person on the stage that I don't trust. But if that, that was not my platform to speak on that shit. Bitch. And how the stigma relates. In the war on drugs, everything's related. Oh, using the black church as a as a base is a brilliant idea. So I'm I'm a, I may just copy the exact person's room title. I may just copy the person's exact room title because I don't know how better to uh, put it. Because it's actually also enticing if that's your goal. If you're trying to entice people to the room, but y'all know me, I don't, I gotta entice the right people because. I can't with the fuck shit and no amount of new invite only social media site is gonna change that. But what it will do is probably give me access to more adults, more black adults who are, I can't say like-minded because I'm a unicorn bitch, <laughs> like for real, not how people just be throwing that out there. But um, or it's a few floating around on, on at the club. It's a few floating around at the club. For now. Leftover beans and leftover pasta are some stank shit. Really stank. Stank a dank. Oh, I was just looking at this because this is narrow. Oops, as you can see, this is narrow enough. You remember I told you guys, and a homeboy who I don't know in the comments had mentioned that he also kept his in the water, but the water gets brown and stank after a while. But it's pretty easy and something this simple to change the water every other day. So um, I had mentioned in that video that I went to soil since I was since I had my herbs inside at the time, my basil and whatnot. And so I went back to the soil because the soil doesn't smell like the water with the onions. But I'm, all, I'm also going back to the glass of water. Because again, it, it takes nothing for me to take these out. They don't have to be, I mean, you can leave them out like this. Pour the water out. I just did it, I'm doing it again. Swirl this around in here. Cause you don't have to get it clean, clean. And then put more water, put fresh water in. So I could do that every other day until the onions run out. And, um, and really, I might just start changing it every day because
And then when gar when gardening season kicks off, I'm actually going to have to use this for like my um I was just thinking if I grow enough during the season to harvest for the whole winter, then I won't even need to grow my my herbs indoors like that. I don't know if I just got pinged to a room or if somebody pinged me directly, I don't know. And again, I don't have my Instagram linked, so they can't. They can't find me. Oh, but I can find my girl. Okay. We'll resume this another time. Now I need to put my hair up in a puff and get in the shower. But we'll talk soon.